Hi, I'm Diane, and this is my vlog, Kuba Kafon. This is about the raw, real, and uncomfortable realities that most people don't put on social media, but I think we should, because everyone's social media life looks so perfect that it drives all of us crazy because we know our life is not perfect. So here's some things that you can relate to. Today I'm going to talk about spouses. Yes, you look at all these wonderful things people put about their spouses on social media. They're having an anniversary. Oh, they they're still having this wonderful relationship after all these years and I'm sure it's true but relationships are hard work and they're not always wonderful I'll start with the wonderful things about my husband yes he does a lot of great things he cleans more than I do yes he cleans the bathroom and he is romantic yes I love the fact that he still holds my hand when we walk down the street. We are still in love, and he does all kinds of great things for our kids. He's a great dad. My daughter loves to cook, and he gets her little things for cooking and helps her with that. He cooks about as much as I do, and he's a great musician, and he teaches them music. But no matter how much of a friend he is to me and my kids, he can't relate to this. Yes. This is from the Bad Moms movie. It's the first time since before I had kids that I actually went to a movie the night it came out. I really wanted to see this movie. I brought him. I wish I had a girlfriend to bring, but I didn't. I brought my husband because he's my best friend, or so I thought he was my best friend. And when I was explaining all of the judgment that goes on with all of the mom situations. Yes, that's why I have all these books about women and motherhood because we're always trying to judge each other even though we shouldn't be. We judge how well we our kids do. We judge each other based on how we look and we shouldn't be. We judge each other based on how our house looks. We judge each other based on our career and whether we're working or not. Yes, the mommy wars are real, but the worst judge of all, we judge ourselves. And that one is what really makes us crazy, is we think everyone's evaluating everything we do. We see everyone else doing things that appear to be better than the way we're doing them. We judge ourselves too much. We need to lay off. That's why the movie was funny. That's why it was poignant. It's true, we know it, but men, our husbands, my husband, can't really relate. No matter how much I explain this to him and he understands intellectually, he really doesn't understand deeply what it means to be a mom going through all this anxiety in 2016. So what does that mean? That means that all these years that I always thought I have a best friend no matter what, I don't need other friends, my husband's my best friend, we started as friends, we became best friends before we even dated, for months before we dated, great way to start a relationship, but you can't always depend on your husband as your best friend because he can't relate and, oh, I'll have to show you this one, we work together and that's a bad idea. I would recommend against that. Yes, we were on our way to do uh, some work for one of our businesses and what did he do? There's the car. Um, we had a disagreement. Actually, it wasn't even a disagreement. He disagreed with my opinion and he got out of the car and left me to do the work. Yes, I've never had a girlfriend do that. We spend too much time together, running two different businesses together. Yes, our offices are right next to each other. And lately, I'd say the last few weeks or few months, every time I share my opinion about work, about our business, about him, about the kids, he can't handle it. He leaves the room. He leaves the house. He leaves the car. I've never had a girlfriend do that before. I can't share my opinion with him anymore about everything. That's not a best friend. I need a best friend. I'm taking applications. Yes, I have a lot of girlfriends, but they have kids like me and we try to make plans. It's so hard because they're all busy just like I'm busy. And so how do we make this happen? I've got to put out the effort. I need to find some friends that I can talk to on a regular basis. I need a girl's night out on a regular basis. I don't have that. I don't have friends I can call on a regular basis, at least ones that I can reach that aren't going crazy with their schedule like I am. So my new priority is to find a new best friend because there is a vacancy. My husband, 
is no longer my best friend. I can't tell him everything anymore because all he does is run away.